Hi, I'm Sue. And I'm Pat. And we're Florida Sisters, and we're here to show you how to save money and live in paradise on a budget. Today we're at The Crate, which is a new and unique idea of shopping. There are three rows, I believe, of these crates, and you're probably wondering why we're here and what this has to do with being on a budget. Have you ever considered starting your own business, but were held back because of the initial startup costs? Well, here at The Crate, the people who own this own a shopping center across the road, and they decided to open this kind of an incubator for small businesses and entrepreneurs. So we're going to visit some of the stores today and show you what's here and how you can start your business on a budget. This morning, we're stopping in at the Blush Wine Room. We're here with owner Felicia and she knows her wines. If you're not sure, uh, if you tell her what you like, she'll find an excellent wine to fit your needs. This is her husband, Nemish, which is outside. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that does all the good cooking. Don't let the name of the establishment fool you. He serves up some best dishes like you've never seen before. When we were here before, you mentioned you owned uh, restaurants before. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened during the tip pandemic and what brought you here? Well, we had um, two cafes that were housed in office buildings that were primarily um, medical uh, companies. And then once the pandemic hit, everyone uh, took off and went home. And at that point, the cafes were closed. Yeah. So this opportunity uh, popped up. Uh, one of our friends owned the pottery place in the front. And she was like, maybe you should take a look at uh, the crates and see if you wanted to come into a small, uh, a smaller space and something unique. And that's how we ended up here. And we had one meeting, we were sold and we signed. But three years later, here we are. And it's really a cute place. This is very unique. and. Lumbish does fantastic food. We had the chicken caprese sandwich last time out of this world. And Sue had the brie, the brie and we couldn't get enough. So we're back. <laughs> Love the bling. Yes, the decor is gorgeous. And how many bottles of wine do you have here? Do you know? Uh, we have about probably 50 different, 50 not including the machine behind us, which is another um, another 18. So about 70 different uh, varieties. Yeah. So there's something for every day. There's wine-based cocktails. We do the wine slushies. We do mocktails. We do don't drink. We do flights. So have a little bit of everything. Okay. Thank you so much, Felicia, and good luck on your endeavor. Hi, we're at Life Essentials Refillery here at the Crate at the Go Grove, and I'm with owner Sheila, and we want to talk to you about what prompted you to start this business and why the Crate, uh -huh. what is the process that you had to go through to get here, and then tell us a little bit about the savings that we're going to get by uh -huh. purchasing from you. All right. So we opened up online under the name Embrace Us Waste about a year and a half ago. So we started selling personal care and home care products. And we were doing a lot of pop-up events in, throughout Tampa Bay. And then a lot of folks were coming to us and letting us know they wanted other options, such as food, which is really hard to sell at pop-ups and online. So then we, were, we started looking around for different options for a space. We looked at Trinity. We looked at, well, between here and Pinellas County. And we were on the wait list for here at the crates. And then they called us and said, it's available. So here we are. It happened very quickly. Um, but the idea, the reason behind it was we love going out on the water in Tampa. And every time we'd go boating, we saw so much garbage in the water. So we decided we need to do something more than just pick up trash when the trash bags only go out. 
So we just started, started selling all the zero waste products. And from there, it just kept growing and growing and growing. So the more people we met, the more need we saw. And then we heard that one of the bulk stores in Brandon had closed, and they had a few other ones around the area. And so people had nowhere else to go for bulk foods. So this is it. This is how it happened. Okay. Well, show us um, some of the items that you have. Okay. I know that a lot of times Pat and I like to cook, and we get um, recipes. Okay. And it's something that we don't have in our pantry, which right. is kind of unusual because we have just about <laughs> everything in there. Okay. So the biggest thing here is either the tea or spices. So we have a lot of bulk foods like pastas, grains, legumes, but people are very much drawn to the spices over here. Nobody could. I know you should have some gluten-free. We do. We have a gluten-free section that is growing. Folks have a really hard time finding gluten-free foods that they absolutely love. So we've reached out to a few, a few different vendors. And, and for me, this is great because we're not gluten intolerant, but uh -huh. my granddaughter is. Okay. So when she comes, instead of me having to have big things stocked up because she right. lives up north, I can come in here and just get what we need for the meal for her. Absolutely. And some people, some gluten-free stuff is good and some isn't. So now you can come in and sample it and see if you like it before you commit to a big quantity. Oh, that's a fantastic. good idea too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we have candies, lots of spices. So most of our stuff is being stocked because customers have requested it. So if they let us know, we create a list and then little by little, we're, we're bringing their, their ideas in. What are a couple of the unusual things that you might have there? Well, kale powder, spinach powder for smoothies. So you don't have to worry about it going bad in your refrigerator when you're making smoothies. Um, we have everything blend. We have whole nutmeg. We are getting in about 13 different barbecue seasonings because this weekend is a chop fest. So we're bringing in lots more spices for that. <laughs> um, what else is fun? We have a vegetarian broth, which people are really excited about. And the peppers, the whole peppercorn. People are very excited about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We have lots of fun stuff over here. I noticed you have other things, not just food yeah. stuff. We do. So this is our home care section. So essentially anything that you would need to run your home, we have a replacement for it. That's going to be plastic free environmental working group rated. So it's good for you, it's good for the home, it's good for the planet. So that is all this stuff here. And the cool thing about all the stuff that we have stocked here on these two tables is everything is made in the USA. With the exception of bamboo products because we don't grow bamboo in the States and stainless steel straws. Everything else is here in, from the US. It is, this is one of our pride points here is that everything here is made in the States. Mostly, no, it's all by small companies. If the company grows too large, then we want to switch back and find a new supplier for smaller smaller companies, mostly by moms who decided they want to have less waste and better products. So they started playing in their kitchens and came up with these amazing things. So this is from Port Orange, Subsafe, Floridian who didn't like his public sandwiches getting wet. Very proud of that. Um, yeah, but everything's made in the States. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your time, You're Sheila. Welcome. Well, again, we're at Life Essentials Refillery and we are in the crate at the Grove. Thanks. Thanks for, ha thanks for having me.